the other. Yeah, I know. I saw that it was turn three other, turn four Pia. It could have been fine. Yeah. I mean, I feel like though we're kind of like looking through the lens of how bad this hand was, unfortunately. Oh wow, rebound. But you did you do it before the damage or after? No, it had its brows. He did it correctly. See, the thing is, is, if we draw one more land, are we bonfiring for two, or are we hermiting? That's the question. Another stagger shock. Seems pretty good. Who knows? Top deck land into bonfire for two might be exactly what we need. Do you consider the Hermit play? Maybe. Hellrider, ooh. Yeah. The toast. Probably. Not gonna draw land anyway. You don't know that. But, I mean, I can't really spend a turn, like... Oh, we're just dead, actually. Would have had to have been... I don't know, we're not getting to the battle skill. Yeah. Okay. His hand, his uh, deck looked a lot different than the other game we played. Random island, random white sources. Seven was a borderline keep. Six was easy mall. It happens, man. You don't sweat it. The nuts hand would be like a hand that leads to this, and then you get to like a Tarka. Might have transformed. Oh yeah, he may have transformed the sideboard for sure. I think we boarded okay. Although after seeing some of his stuff, oh, no, this member's not where you want to be. Maybe I mean maybe we should have boarded the anger in. We boarded in all that red and just said cut the Rafellos because we're cutting so many forests. <laughs> if I could do it again, I'd cut this, this, not that, that. So cut these four. And this. Like, we, we could have transformed maybe that these five into. Uh, let's see. Bonfire. Pia. Just go ahead and go with the anger because it would have been solid there. Flame, slash, and pillar. I think we should have done that. I'll see you, mister. I think that's how we should have boarded against that guy. And then, of course, swapped out two to three forests. Or more for mountains. Yeah, strange fish. Yeah, we would have played the anger. But hindsight's twenty twenty. Like his deck looked a lot less aggressive when we played it the other two games. What's neat about uh, Swiss is I think just by even winning one game, we still get points, which is always neat. Is always neat. So we'll actually get points, and we should it should be half the initial entry cost, right? We did, but it's not a big deal. It's, I mean, like, when you're playing Miracles without something like Sensei's Top, you are rolling the dice. And sometimes you're... Sometimes you, um... It, it sometimes is awesome, sometimes it's, you know, not when you need it to happen. Heck, I would have cast it for three mana. It's better at 5 mana. And of course, anything up above that is just gravy. Something like that. 100 play points. I don't think I'm doing another Akia. Well, let me see see how you guys are doing. 135? Yeah, we could maybe do one more. I might be If we get enough fun monies from this, I could be down for... Let's talk about the decks we drafted tonight, though. I think we drafted some really cool ones, so let's do some screenshots. So this was the deck we just played. You can get that in chat. Some of the other decks that we did were the... Uh, tonight was... When we tried to force Aristocrats, but ended up being a sneak attack uh, reanimator deck with Ashiok. This deck was sweet. 
And you'll recognize some of the fatties, actually. Uh, we use them in this Rampy deck, but this is another way to get out Omnath um, and Avenger and get some value off them. Less value off the Avenger. Um, m Avenger may not have even been the best, but we didn't really have any other fatties that were worth it. We had a Nickel Bolas for the sideboard if we wanted to go more controlling. This was a single Elim, though. It wasn't Swiss, so we actually didn't get to have much time to really enjoy some of the cool stuff we could have been doing um, with the deck. But I was still very pleased with it. This, the fixing was great. It was pulling off the Grixis and then could feasibly even have hardcast Omnath or Avenger. So we'll screenshot this one too. This was kind of like a, like I said, kind of like a reanimator theme. What's funny about this deck is we were trying to build the Aristocrats deck, and if I play another one, if we do play one more, I'm going to force that deck. I really, really want to build that deck. Uh, there was uh, the article Melissa Del Toro wrote about the changes to cube uh, IKEA. She um, she was talking about how she wanted to make that a viable deck, so it, it is a black deck. Seems a million times faster. Oh, what light scribe? It's sweet. You're playing what right now? And then this was our blue at red control that we built, or excuse me, ended up just being blue red control, but could have. We could have maybe sideboarded into the Wraths. This was really spicy too. And we did put the nuts. We did get to put a Magma Jet on the uh, on the Scepter. But some things did go wrong. My house did blow a fuse. So I actually... Um, anyway. That's a long story. That was a long time ago already. Just gotta wait for these guys to finish. Oh, Bafflement was the control player, right? So this could take forever. <laughs> But I'm points short. Uh, anyway, do you guys want to see maybe what I play in Legacy or Vintage? Anyone? Let me show you real quick. Uh, did your donation go through? Um, probably. Normally it does the little... Uh, I'll play it for you. I think my, my Twitch alerts wasn't online. Sorry, Corn. Thank you so much, man. Holy crap. That's very kind. Oh, for a cube? One more draft or riot. All right, let's do it. Oh, you know what? Uh, when we have donations, Corn, thank you. We'll do another draft. Do you want it to be Swiss? I'll, I'll let you pick. Corn, do you want to do Swiss or do you want to do single a limb? I'm down for Swiss. That's a very generous donation. So let's go to Alert Box. And when you guys donate like that, I do make a fool of myself on stream. I do do a little dance. So let's do Donation Alert. Test. Let's see if it goes through. Any second now. Thank you so much for the huge donation, man. I mean, all donations are appreciated, but that's definitely more than enough for cube for the rest of this season so thank you my heart goes out to you so this is more fun because sometimes the deck doesn't do anything yeah okay we'll do a swiss then i'll let you be the decider which deck would you like me to try to force do you like aristocrats i mean you don't have to what are you kind of into yeah my alerts isn't working my alert system oh you know what it is uh it's because uh all of my stuff on here has been destroyed so hang on seal our browser i can teach you guys how to do this Donation alert while we're deciding. This is kind of neat. All right, so then you get this, right? You get this, right? And then you go into this and you go to donations and then you go to double click, copy. This is for OBS, so I can't teach you how to do XSplit. Uh, I don't know XSplit. So add uh, seal our browser. This is donation alerts. And you just paste this in. Seems pretty pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Up to you, just not green ramp. <laughs> okay. I did copy-paste, didn't I? Hang on. Deal. Yeah, we can build something different, for sure. Okay, hit OK, and then go to Edit Scene. It's going to be right here, so just wait. Check this out. It's that simple. So let's try it again. So test donation alert. Any second now. Okay, is the sub alert at least working? Or uh, follower alert at least working? 
Boom. Well. Glad I followed myself. Legacy Cube did get some new changes, Blubberbug. We're going to play another one. Uh, Legacy Cube, uh, the mana rocks are gone. So basically the only consistent way to ramp in uh, the cube now is to... Um, Corn, I'm, I'm sorry. Normally when you guys donate, I can do a little dance to a really silly song. And it's actually hilarious. It's actually caused some people to donate more. Um, hang on a friend. Uh, let's jump into the queue and then I'm going to try to fix that and actually get your dance. Get, get my dance on. Legacy Cube. That's what I want. Oh, I need to be in queues. All right, so Swiss. Boom. Thankfully, I actually had 10 tickets lying around, exactly 10, for such an occasion if we were actually going to pay for a cube. And so your donation definitely has enabled that. Um, so... Cut a couple cards here. All right, so... Um, God, what is going on with this? Test donation. There we go. Hey, thank you so much for the donation. Here's your dance, man. No, I didn't just donate seventy. It just it just generates a random thing. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Uh, yeah, Gilded Lotus is an option. Seriously, uh, Lol Corn, thank you for the hundred bucks. That's very awesome. Hundred bucks so we can cube for the rest of the season. So here we go. Shut up and take my money. Do a little monkey here. It's a little hard when I'm on the bed. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Standstill. This is Legacy Standstill we've been playing. This deck's a lot of fun. While we wait for the queue to pop, just needs a couple more people. Uh, this is really dirtily. It's got, like, forces, of course. Uh, place at a standstill. Let me blow it up so you can actually see it a little better on screen. Dead webcam. It makes a difference. All right, so uh, Fire Ice, of course, is the pet card that I refuse to cut, but should be. <laughs> uh, three factories, two wastelands. Uh, two basic island, two basic planes, bunch of fetches. Uh, probably deserves another volcanic over the plateau, but we're, we're working with what I got. Uh, the sideboard's pretty robust. Somebody actually gave me a containment priest uh, the same day that I also was given standstills, and I had to build this. This thing's brutal, Lil Karn. We actually prized the very first time. I kid you not, if you go on to, or it might be down by now because it was weeks ago, but the very first time we played this in an event on Moto, we 3 won I, I kid you not, there is there is video evidence. I did stream it, and I did put it on YouTube. Uh, so we did prize the very first time we played this, which was mind-boggling. I thought, you know, we're going to go to time. I don't know how to play this. Let's just run with it. And it worked really, really well. The deck is, is very robust. It, it, it can win a lot of matchups. It's very just flexible. It's very good in creature matchups. You have a plethora of removal. you got bolts and swords and a fire ice. Snapcasters to recur those, uh, you know, if, if you have to sweep the board, you know, yeah, you don't have Terminus, but you do have Verdict. Worst case scenario, you just pitch the Verdict to a force if it's if it's not the appropriate matchup. So, and that's the same, the same thing goes for the Fire Ice. If it's not the appropriate matchup, uh, oh, draft started. If it's not the appropriate matchup, you just pitch it to the Force of Will. That's the flexibility. Okay, so we're not forcing Green Ramp. Um, I'd love to build the Aristocrat deck. That would mean first pick Bombardment. I really, really, really want to build that deck. Is the Wincon just Dirtle with Jace? Um, no, you beat them down with Snapcasters and Mishra's Factories while you're under standstills for value. Uh, some games you win with Jace Ult, yeah. Some games do. Some some easy twin. Chaos says build, build twin. We could build twin. Do you guys want to see that deck in Legacy Cube? All right, well, okay, let's... You got 30 seconds. If I see more people type twin, I'll go twin. If I see more people type some version of Zombardment or Goblin Bombardment, I'll go Bombardment on deck. Both of which are red. You got 15 seconds, guys. Type, 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 type. Where are we going here? Bombardment or twin? Both of which are fun. Could go forbid. 